Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Thursday the 15th of August 2013 and this video goes out to Catfish Glass on YouTube who's been leaving a series of comments under one of my videos and we've been having an ongoing discussion about what is going on with the moon at the moment. Now Catfish Glass seems to be rather confused and I and others including Bike and Bear 2000 and D5UNCR have been trying to explain field rotation to Catfish Glass but he does not seem to understand. Now I've already done a video about field rotation previously. I did this one quite a while back, uh, back in November 2011 where some people were claiming that Nibiru Planet X had caused the moon to tilt on its axis. Now I'll put a link to this video in the description area but I went into some detail explaining why the moon appears to rotate through the sky as it crosses our field of view as it crosses this video of this Concorde aircraft flying across the sky from east to west as if we are looking north this is the sort of view that we would have from the southern hemisphere if we were comparing it to the moon okay so in this video I use this example of aircraft flying straight across the sky from east to west in a straight line and how our perception of the angle changes as they cross the sky. If we take photos of the aircraft, uh, if you can see in the little preview box there, you can see that the angle will be one way as we take a photo here, it'll be sort of straight on there as we take a photo there, and it'll be at the opposite angle as we take a photo there. But you can check this video out for yourself, I'll put a link in the description area. Now, Catfish Glass does not seem to be able to grasp the explanation for field rotation. Either that, or he refuses to go and look at the video that I've just shown you. He won't give me a straight answer on whether he's actually watched that video and whether he understands it, but he just keeps on insisting that there is something wrong with the moon, and that the shadows are wrong. Now it seems to me that he's confusing between two different things. One, field rotation, as I've talked about, and the second thing is the actual lunar phase, which takes about 28 days approximately to cycle through. It's about 29 and a half days. In this comment you can see, he's using some interesting language here. This is one of the few comments where he's not using all capitals. But he says, um, I asked you why the phase shadow moving clockwise across the moon in a single night, 180 degrees. If you can't s simply answer that, I fall back on my explanation of either the, s the sun playing hopscotch or the earth is tilting on its axis. You s okay, I won't go into Polaris, that's another, another matter. Um, now, one of these, here we go one of these comments he talks about 28 days uh, here we go this is the one I was looking for I seriously cannot believe you uh, want me on Skype just to show me some damn computer model which I've offered to do I've offered to um, talk to him on Skype where I can share my screen with him and uh, explain to him exactly what he's seeing that's usually the easiest way when people are having trouble understanding something it's often difficult trying to explain something in 500 character um, bytes at a time trying to explain something that is sometimes quite difficult to understand unless you can see it visually such as in a um, simulation program or whatever with the, with the aid of, of visual helps but anyway you can see here that um, he talks about 28 days which is the approximate lunar cycle he says, I'm asking you to debunk why I say it is shifting the 180 degrees and now you're wanting a computer program to tell me for freaking thousands of years a process that takes 28 days every time to accomplish wax to wane is normal. Now do nightly. Okay. So the last part of what he's saying is that you know, for thousands of years a process that takes 28 days approximately every time to go from um, a waxing moon to a waning moon um, is now doing it nightly is what he's saying alright 
this is where he's getting confused because yes it does take about 28 days to go from a waxing moon which is a thin crescent um, through first quarter through to full moon through last quarter back through to the opposite thin quarter which is called a waning moon it takes approximately 28 days the lunar month is 29 and a half days and it takes us full circle back to new moon okay that is completely different to field rotation it is not the same now I suspect that what catfish glass is seeing is, is the field rotation and he's getting all confused this is what he's seeing I went out last night um, based on the discussion that I've had with catfish glass he said that if, if you watch the moon over say three hours you will see this phase angle changing now it seemed to me that what he was talking about was the the illumination going from like for example last night was first quarter so it looks like half a moon and he's talking about progressing through that 28 day cycle in one night which is impossible it is physically impossible it cannot happen but what can happen and what does happen every night is that when you go out and look at the moon when it's coming up in the in the east and you look at the angle this is what it'll look like now remember that I'm in the southern hemisphere I'm in New Zealand so um, the angle that I view the moon at is opposite to the angle that you will view the moon from the northern hemisphere just in case you look at my images and you think that the moon is upside down and that there's something wrong it's not it's because I'm upside down compared to you because I'm in the southern hemisphere okay so I took this image at 4 o'clock p.m. these are just um, screenshots that I've taken off my standard definition video camera I wasn't gonna set up the telescope to um, take these shots okay so what I did was I took these images every half hour I took them from 4 o'clock p.m. through to 11 o'clock p.m. and this is what we find and this is completely normal if you are taking photos with a standard camera with your feet on the ground facing the moon and you are not using an equatorial mount camera uh, equatorial mount telescope or a camera on an equatorial mount okay if you're using an equatorial mount the mount will actually tilt and follow the angle of the moon so that you don't get any field rotation but if you're just taking photos with a standard camera as we're doing here or through a telescope that's on what's called an alt azimuth mount then this is what you get so here is four o'clock p.m every half hour watch what happens to the moon 4 30 5 o'clock 5 30 6 o'clock 6 30 7 o'clock 7 30 8 o'clock 8 30 9 o'clock 9 30 10 o'clock by now you can see that there's not a lot of change 10 30 and 11 o'clock okay so we can see that the that the angle of that of, of the moon has actually changed significantly from when we started back at four o'clock okay so here's back to four o'clock and we can see that the the shadow on the moon here this is called the terminator right we can see that that angle has shifted considerably from later on in the evening where the where that shadow is this way this is normal this is what happens every single night that you can see the moon when it's um, when it's not full or even if it is full if you're looking at features on the moon they will rotate through the sky and as I said I've already explained this quite adequately in my earlier video about field rotation but what catfish glass seemed to be saying is that the, the moon was cycling through 28 days of lunar phases so in other words if you went out tonight um, and you saw the shadow here this was last night remember first quarter but let's say you saw the shadow here and then you went out three hours later that the, the, the shadow um, w would have been opposite okay so if we flip this image he's saying 
that it's gone through 28 days. Well, in fact, it wouldn't be 28 days, it would be 14 days because it would be half of that. 28 days would take your full cycle. But what is happening is he is confusing between field rotation and lunar phases and he just can't get into it and he can't get it into his head that when you follow an object across the sky you are going to get rotation of the image just as I've shown in this video here let's just finish by recapping with this video um, so you don't have to watch it as a separate link Let's have a look at this video of this Concorde aircraft flying across the sky from east to west as if we are looking north. This is the sort of view that we would have from the southern hemisphere if we were comparing it to the moon. Let's take another look and we'll take some photos this time as the aircraft fly over. Pointing north east. Pointing north and pointing northwest. Now let's take a look at our photos. We can see now that the angle that the aircraft are pointing in our photographs are quite different in each photo. And in exactly the same way we will see that the moon appears to change its angle as it travels across the sky. Thank you for watching. So there we have it, field rotation, explained very simply. I think that most people will be able to follow this video if in fact they've watched it and I suspect that Catfish Glass has not bothered to watch, watch this video. I like to think I'm pretty patient with most people but uh, some people are rather exasperating and I have to say congratulations Catfish Glass because you take the cake. Thank you for watching.